Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you on this video. This time around, I want to share with you a brand new plugin that it's available for free by the company Waves Audio that can help you out to organize your drum samples, your loops. But I also had this thought that it can help you out to organize your impulse responses. This free plugin by Waves, it's called Cosmos Sample Finder. And in this video, I want to walk you through all of the features that can help you out to organize all of your files in your computer. And also, I want to go more in depth in this idea that it can help you out to organize and categorize your impulse responses, which uh, most of the times we have too many on our hard drives. As usual, all of the applicable links are going to be down below in the description. And don't forget that I leave you some timestamps as well down below for you to move around between the mini segments of this video. Before we dive deep into the content, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website where I have some freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players related mixing with free plugins, also some hacks for productivity in your home studio. Also, I have some free tools additionally available at your disposal, a huge collection of guitar impulses, a drum sample pack for rock and metal sound. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So now let's get straight into the video, shall we? I was very curious to see if I could also organize my impulse responses because there are not a lot of tools to organize impulse responses but they are in wave file so i thought well maybe this uh, plugin this tool can recognize also these wave files that are impulses they are like one shots right very much alike the one shots drum samples for instance which are one shots like one snare hit one kick hit etc etc so i thought why not use these tools also to organize our impulse responses, which most of the times we have too many on our hard drives, right? Let's start here with the new plugin by Waves Audio. This is the Cosmos Sample Finder. It is worth mentioning that this tool, it's not a BST plugin, all right? You are not opening this tool inside your DAW. This is a standalone application, but nonetheless, it can be very useful to organize your loops, your samples of any kind. Here at the Cosmos Sample Finder, you start here at the left with the local folders, right? And it's very simple to add a new folder where this tool by Waves will find all of the samples and will organize them. First of all, Waves Audio is giving away for free in this free plugin 2,500 samples and loops of all kinds, right? We're going to check them out in a moment. Right here at the left, you have the folders that you have. You can add more folders just by clicking this icon. You're going to be able to locate them in your computer and it will add the folder here. For instance, I added this amazing impulse pack that I am giving away all the time in my website, where I have a collection of guitar impulses that I have collected through more than nine, 10 years. And I put together this folder here so I can go also through all of the files here in this tool. You can also add collections like it's mentioned here. You can pretty much organize all of your samples in different categories, different folders here. For instance, I am going to add a new folder of drum samples, the package that I am also giving away on my website, single hits of kicks, snares, toms, hi-hat symbols, things like that. So I'm just going to locate the folder by clicking on this icon. Once that I have here the folder, I just click select folder and it will start to add the folder. The bigger the folder in terms of the size, megabytes or gigabytes, it will take longer to add. So as you see here, it's adding the folder. Let's just wait a little bit. If you have a folder with gigabytes and gigabytes of samples, it will take a while. So be patient. Now it's added. I can turn off and turn on these folders. Those are the ones that are going to appear here on this window. For instance, let's see here the free sample pack. Since it's in loop mode, it will not find anything, right? Because all of these samples are one shots. So I click here 
and the samples will appear here on this screen. You can listen to these samples individually. It will categorize these samples depending on different tags that we might uh, select. It will tag them also by the key and the BPM. We're going to see that in a moment. So I have the samples here. You can right click on any of them and you can edit the tags. They can be acoustic, bright, clean. You can remove these tags and you can put another one here. For instance, you can put rock or metal, right? Heavy metal. In the top of the screen of the tool, you're going to be able to open only what you're searching for depending on these tags. So for instance, I tag this sample in rock and heavy metal. Let's tag another one. For instance, this one. Edit tags, rock, heavy metal. As easy as that. And as you see here, the tags are appearing. We can use some of these tags that we have here or we can also search here for heavy metal for instance it will locate only the files that have these tags will appear we can clear this search so as you see here it's also the length of the file and the key which by the way we can find pretty easily here if we click a button here on this piano roll the files in said key will appear pretty useful we can search them by key and bpm like i mentioned also by tags also you have another way to search for the files which is this cool window where you have dots on this screen and you can listen to them you can zoom out this window and more samples will appear in the form of dots You can also move around with this plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out. You can also search them with these categories, brightness, space, saturation. Pretty interesting. So let's go back to the regular screen. You can also put your favorite samples under this star that you have here. Any sample that you choose to be your favorite, you can put the star right here and they will appear under your favorites. For instance, let's check out only what the Waves Audio Factory samples and loops. You can drag these files to your DAW. Let's drag this one here and you can use them right away. The impulse files are another story. If I have here for instance, a, an impulse response loader, let's say pulse, I am not able to drag, for instance, this impulse to this window. That's the only negative thing that I realized. But nonetheless, you can organize them here on this window. You can add all of the folders that you want here at the left and organize them by tags, so on and so forth. I'm going to turn on all of the folders. I have 5,827 samples in total, one shots and loops all together. So for instance, if I am looking for some drum samples, let's say I am looking for acoustic and I am looking for snare, right? I have some acoustic drums. I have here the BPM the length let's say that i want rock you have that volume here at the top right corner this is the volume of the output of these sounds so let's say that i want to check out some snares I can just go here and look for snare. These are snare loops, but let's look for one shots. All of the snares are here, right? And the tags change here, as you see, snare, drums, vintage, FX, punchy, things like that. Let's search another thing here. For instance, let's go with bass, electric bass, plucked. You can get pretty specific here, punchy, dark this is one shot no matches for loops but it's okay so you can clear everything here 
So even though these uh, tools are made for uh, samples, I think also they can be very useful to organize your impulse responses as well. Please let me know down below in the comments, my friends, what are your thoughts on this free tools, free plugin that can help you out to organize your samples, your impulses as well. What's your approach when organizing your samples and your impulses? Do you think this free tool can help you out to do that better? I will be very glad to read your comments and opinions about this topic. Before we go, my friends, I would like to invite you to my website, amnerhunter.com, where I have some cool freebies for you. I have some free PDF guides and ebooks for music producers and guitar players. Also, have some free tools available a huge collection of guitar impulses, a brand new drum sample pack for rock and metal sound. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it very much. I will see you very soon on the next one. All right. Take care.